a team a couple of years ago and having a very good season for the Hoos. Matthew Hurt for three, and speaking of matchups, as Hurt gets a friendly roll. How about Matthew Hurt? Roach looking inside for Williams, who's really been a factor for Duke the last couple of weeks, especially at the defensive end of the floor. Roach for three. Got it. And a good start for the Blue Devils. In his prior two games, he was averaging 16 points a game over those two. Clark stops on a dime, losing his defender, and then gets a bounce to get a Virginia on the board. Uh, he is just a, a fantastic shooter. But to your question on Jalen Johnson, yes, those are legitimate questions as to why he decided to forego the remainder of the year. Mark Williams has stepped into a larger role, and this go that goes back a few weeks now. Jamin Brakefield has picked up some more minutes as uh, Virginia gets an easy one from Trey Murphy, the third outstanding transfer. East Beekman, we've talked about him in, in steals. He gets a ton of steals for Virginia. He leads the team in steals. But Trey, and there's, there's, he is shooting the ball so well. You talk about a player, Matthew Hurt. And you saw Clark and Huff right away point up to the glass, but they don't get the call. Casey Moore selling off the bench, and maybe it'll work out just fine for Virginia because he's got a chance for three. He's been in study hall to bring up that grade in defensive <laughs> IQ. He's a solid B+, plus, but I think with some more study hall time, yeah. he can get that up to an A. Yeah, his basketball GPA trying to increase that as best he can. But the shot clock running down the conference standings with a record of 11-2. and two. Duke is 7-6, and six. and obviously given their situation as Jamin Brakefield lays it in. And Murphy, Murphy's an NBA player. He is so good. You and I were talking to before. Could Huff be an NBA player? Could Hauser be an NBA player? How about Jamin Brakefield getting more minutes the last couple of games? Alley-oop attempt to Huff. Brakefield stepping into it, and what an impact he has had in this game. Well, if they're in the next four out now, they would. And, yeah. and yeah. obviously a, a top a top ten win. You know, but it's not, boy, what a what a good shot. I mean, it, Jeremy Roach is having a really nice ball game. Bo had 29 points today. Florida State won at Pitt, 79 to 72. Hurt from the corner, knocks it down. And Matthew Hurt's got four threes already. Signature win, quality win, big win, whatever phrase you want to use. And they are up three on a top 10 team in Virginia. Look at Huff stepping in and follows up his own miss. Ends with Justin McCoy from Cary, North Carolina. McCoy helped to recruit Murphy when Murphy announced he was going to transfer. Great little touch pass from Hauser. Discriminatory comment yeah. about big guys that <laughs> we develop slower. Matthew Hurt with a chance for three. Watch this move by Hurt. Sets the screen. He'll go right into the post here. And then he'll not really face up, but he goes right into. See how he bumps him back? Tony Bennett has said, you got to put pressure on the ball. We can't let the opposing team go window shopping. Hauser gets it off quickly before anybody got out on him. Is not in, is not here with the team due to contact tracing, and he's a very good shooter off the bench. They've also got a couple of players who are back from illness. <laughs> they're available, but they're just not playing all that much right now. He's not Larry Bird. I'm not saying that. But watch this little jab and watch him get into that shot quickly. And it. Roach. Little stop and go. Lays it in with a left hand to tie the game. Boy, just great recognition. Shooting under 30%. Virginia 43%. That's about as easy as it gets. Wow. Hauser into Huff for the reverse slam. Hauser getting the ball screen from Huff. Draws two to the ball. Nobody rotates over. How about that dunk? That's pretty impressive by Jay Huff. Very much so. I wonder if here his beard has a Twitter account to a Final Four with this team. He, he was outstanding. Shot clock running down. Hauser turns it over. Here comes Goldwire. Duke's got numbers. Stewart for three. Count it. Boy, what a big time pass. Poised in completing it. And tied yet again. Clark up top to Huff. Beautifully done you can do if you don't stay home you're going to give up that dunk boy there's just nothing there's not much you can do at all when hurt decides to make that move at a 6-9 and so he, he does a good job of taking hauser into the lane virginia got a switch but then switched back murphy quiet in the second half trying to shake stewart finds clark in the corner for three but he just hits the big ones, doesn't he? Don't want a foul, but I would not give Huff a three. 
or uh, hurt, excuse me. Got a lot of H's. Yes. Uh, Stewart with a tough one from the baseline. Clark gets a switch. Brakefield on him. Clark the drive. Blocked by Brakefield. Virginia with a win. Trying to keep Florida State at bay for top spot of the ACC standings. Duke looking for a signature win over a quality opponent. And they've got the lead after the bucket by Brakefield. He's a lefty and gets right around Huff. Huff thought he was going to hand it off and wound up, wind, uh, wound up fouling him as Brakefield used the rim to try to protect it from the blocked shot. What a beautiful finish. And remember, he's left-handed. Mm -hmm. Well, how about that smile at the bench? <laughs> <laughs> That's Lark. Loses it, gets it back, has to put it up. And that will not count. Duke will win. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.